one of the most impactful investments that we as CDC have made in the recent months is in a run of river uh, hydroelectric scheme in Eastern, Eastern DRC alongside uh, the Howard Buffett Foundation who provided the grant money. The impactfulness of this, uh, of this investment is so multifold that it's almost hard to describe. Firstly, it's power production. So in an area where there was 4 million people with 4 megawatts, we're now going to create an extra 30 megawatts. Just by producing the power, we will attract people that thought about setting up businesses but couldn't because they didn't have any security of power to be able to run those businesses. Just by investing in that environment that has, for the last 25 years, received only grant money, we're understanding, we're getting people, local people, both the local authorities as well as the investors, to understand what it takes to receive commercial money so that the transition from grant to commercial actually starts happening as well. Um, I'd probably uh, think of uh, Zamchek, which is a large agricultural processing um, uh, company in Zambia. Uh, and I'd say it's been a great success because it has uh, uh, solved the agricultural value chain uh, production process very successfully, but it was also a good financing model where they had seed capital from DFIs, including the CDC. Uh, it was later listed, later listed on the Lusaka Stock Exchange and has now also uh, expanded production through debt. So it's a very nice example of both uh, great production and great financing. Successful investment to me is uh, where a transformation is being made, uh, you know, from looking at it from the impact investment point of view. And what Samrit the Pahad is doing is like, you know, we don't do investment, but we facilitate investment, you know, through microfinance uh, as a vehicle. So in that, um, you know, we have been, I mean, providing a longer term support. We have been there for years. It's unlike development projects, which is normally two to three years. We've been there for many, many years. And, you know, to make sure that the transformation does happen and it's, you know, things are not getting back to square one. Well, what we're doing with our business model is we're taking different stakeholders into account. We're taking government and culture and environment and we are really investing in people and using the technical skills they already know and make them, we want to make them feel empowered by sharing with them business skills. So I think that the challenge is to bring everyone together and, and to take all the different points of view in order to, to create a, ver a better and long-term impact. And the investment I have received it hasn't been like economically, an economical investment, a, a direct one, but it has been like more like a knowledge investment from the programs I have participated in, such as the Mentoring in Women in Business program from Cherry Blair Foundation, where where I have been able, able to share my experience with my mentors and also my, my mentors have been able to share the experience with me. Uh, their experience in the, the financial sector uh, most of the time in order for me to implement better practices in my business and to reach to more people with my business model.